Welcome to Roboter. This is an application based on special understanding and we can put in something like a magic leap or hololens points in 3D and for every point we have an application in this case in Azure which is saving all these points and we can put in like information about the point, the videos or images or also like a voice recognition or voice comments or not comments but more like a recording for every point which is also like just in 3D and the idea is like to have a manual and also manual content edition um, which is make very easy so you can record all the stuff also from the HoloLens or Magic Leap uh, you can upload automatically the video to the server in this case we are using Azure you see in front of you a checklist you go point by point and you can go over the manual it could be a manual for your engine in this case it could be a manual for IKEA uh, furniture it could be a, a manual about like how to cook something and you can re record it very easy as I mentioned before the video you can record with the argument reality device and we can play also the, all this content uh, on the iPad because it has a basic on kit so we have the same understanding so we upload the 3d data with all the coordinates to the server the server is providing us the, the information and we have already an application for iPad we have an application for HoloLens and we would like to have an application for Magic Leap and go for marketing and PR for this stuff so you see here on the left was the checklist, on the right side you have all this content and functionality so you can save to the server, you can add a new device, you can manage a device and for us device is like a box and for example you see on the right side if the, in the real condition um, the position of the device change like here for the toolbox we can change here and still the whole tutorial is working so if we have more complex scenarios where the devices are dynamical, so in every scenario it's changing a little bit like the angle or the position, this way of um, having it, we, we can do it very easy. And here you see like what is the work of content editor. The content editor can add a new point. You can also edit a new point and say something like, okay, um, scaling, say, change the direction, and saying like in which position or which direction the, the arrow should go and this we can do for every point so here okay let's switch off the device um, and now we see here we have here like a box and in this case we will show you like where you have to grab use your hand the next tool and we can record a small video we can have a voice command on the image all this stuff is done with uh, augmented reality on your, your glasses so you don't have to use additional devices so let's see what happened here okay with the video now we change the position you can also add a new point put it in the place I will find a 3D coordinates like a point where it would be the next one and this is the way I will build the, the argument to reality manual and now you ask yourself like okay a lot of tags um, how you do it so we have a like a companion app for it and we use Q, uh, QR code and if you scan it you go you will load now to a uh, application which is um, managing this checklist so now you see all these points with all this color, with all these texts, and I can go to one of these points and edit it, change the text on my phone, and upload to the server. So now I save to the server, and I can download from the server, and this is a very easy way to, to do it. So the best way to have 3D coordinates is the HoloLens, but all magically. But the best way to write the text is more like an iPhone or iPad or or, or smartphone or the own. So now you see we also managed to have the same experience with iPad. 
and for every point you see here we have a video or image and uh, with this recording I can give you an easy instruction on what to do and we have also like hologram so here you see uh, we have a hologram for the for the toolbox we scan it with uh, spectrum IO it's like a um, Suji scanner and the cost is like about 400 bucks and we can upload very easy to our server this kind of 3D scans and use it as a part of the application. And we use GLTF format, including the animation, materials, all the stuff. So it's one of the standards and we can load it dy dynamically to our um, application. So now we have seen the toolbox also with materials. And we will do the same for this and in this example for the for the engine. The toolbox is done. Let's upload to the server. And the same for the engine. Take your time and go around and have the whole scan. And now we have the engine scanned. What you see here is the same steps, but on the iPad. And um, on the iPad we see also like the videos and you hear it's like a by step by step. Um, the video is a little bit, you know, jumping, but it's only because it is, you know, like a video of a video. If you have it on your glasses or on an iPad, it's not jumping at all. And uh, for the left hand we have a object you can load the GL tab and it's also for the right hand so it's like a um, the purpose of all the, the stuff is like you don't need a programmer uh, you can do it by yourself so you have like a skill maybe 3d graphic or something like a holograms you can scan with a 3d scanner and you can do all the stuff and um, the normal way is to do it with the glasses because your hands are free like it's with magic leap but you can do it also with the iPad as well